The county sheriff's office announcing the arrest of a rape suspect in a case dating back more than two decades. And the same guy is also suspected of committing a similar rape at Penn State University. Fox News' Charlie Langton joining us live now. And Charlie, how were they able to link the suspect to this cold case? I tell you, this is really an amazing police work, DNA evidence, technology, and a coffee cup. And yes, two rapes, two different rapes, one here in Oakland County and one in Pennsylvania. And somehow they all got put together, solved after about 20 plus years. Let me take you back to 1999. Coincidentally, the first year that Sheriff Michael Bouchard was the sheriff. Twin Oaks Golf Course in Oakland Township, a 22 year old woman raped. And then 2000, a year later or so, another golf course, Penn State Golf Course in Penn State, a 19 year old victim raped. Now, three years later, somehow because the evidence was put into a national database in 2004, somehow they came up with a match that the 1990 rape, Oakland County rape, and the 2000 rape in Pennsylvania were related. But no suspects, no witnesses, nothing. And then, not until 2021, where the couple of the police got together and they said, there's new technology that can actually put the DNA together and then trace DNA through like a family tree kind of thing. And this DNA then in 2021 narrowed the suspects to three brothers. And by, by some very good police work, they narrowed the three brothers to one. That one was arrested yesterday. Here's Sheriff Michael Bouchard. Investigators worked side by side with the three agencies, with the labs, and found a person that you know, clearly wasn't on our radar for any reason, has no criminal history, but now has been uh, positively identified in two very violent uh, sexual encounters, obviously. Very much a partnership. We had actually a better DNA sample under their state law. They actually destroyed their sample and it had been marked genetically, but they didn't no longer had the actual sample. We still had our actual sample. So the combination of, of the investigative skills, the evidence, and the synergy really together, uh, without them, it, it would have been obviously much more difficult and challenging, and without us, same thing. So it really was a team effort. But again, some really amazing police work and this new DNA technology. Now, let me talk about the suspect for a moment. He's 51 years old today. His name is Kurt Allen Relima. He's from West Bloomfield. He owns a construction company. Now, how did they find out? Well, back in 2021, when the new DNA got together, the police were watching uh, Kurt Allen Relima, and somehow he drank a cup of coffee the cops went in there and got the coffee cup. This is according to the to the authorities in Pennsylvania. They did an analysis on that coffee cup, and sure enough, it matched the DNA from the rape in 1999 and 2000, and that formed the basis of the arrest. He was in court today, arraigned on those charges, no bond. If he is convicted of this criminal sexual conduct here in Michigan, he is looking at up to life in prison. He's also going to be extradited from Michigan to Pennsylvania to face similar charges of criminal sexual conduct in Pennsylvania. Again, really an amazing story. Two rapes cracked over 20 years ago because of DNA. I'll set it back to you uh, uh, in the studio. Yeah, Charlie, it's like it's a Law & Order SVU episode or something. But to clarify, they had the DNA match on the suspect back in 2004, but it wasn't until one of those ancestry sites that they were actually able to identify uh, who it was linked to? Yeah, I think it's a little more formal than the ancestry sites, but it's the same. It's the same principle. It's called Parabon Nano Labs. That's what it is. And the and Sheriff Bouchard tells me that they're using this very. I can't explain it because it's way beyond my. Uh, I wasn't very good in science. But the bottom line is, it's just like that. You know, you you do your ancestry, and they comes. You've got people. Living. This and is exactly the what that is. Yes. But, and they linked to the family, which they, they got three brothers. Remember, they had the DNA. They knew that they matched the 1999, the Oakland County, and the Pennsylvania. They knew they matched. But you got to 
we've got to get a little more information. Sure. And it wasn't until 2021, and they did it. It's really an amazing piece of technology. Sheriff Bouchard said they're going to be using it again. They've already used it. Um, it's, so it's, I guess it's been tested in court, I guess. I'm sure that's what the defense is going to be on this one. But the bottom line here, They've got a man in sus a suspect right now in custody for these two very, very violent rapes that happened 20 plus years ago. All right, and hopefully we'll see more cases closed because of this technology. Charlie, thanks for that live report.